It's almost like an international language. Any differences stay on the sidelines, while the players use athletic skills and teamwork to determine the winner of the match. This is just a friendly scrimmage, celebrating the grand reopening of Afghanistan's Ghazi Stadium and remembering what took place on this very ground. We can never forget that only 10 years ago, the Taliban used this stadium for public executions that shocked the conscience. It became a public venue for gruesome amputations and killings, all to enforce Taliban control. Some say the ground was so soaked with blood that even grass would not grow. Since then, these fields have laid fallow, waiting for life to be breathed back into them as a new Afghanistan begins its long journey back to the community of nations. And the first step was a year ago, when the Afghan Olympic Committee, coalition forces, and the U.S. Embassy began working on a project to re-turf the field. It added up to about a million dollars, 165,000 of it coming from the U.S. Embassy of Kabul and U.S. forces providing the rest. Today, this facility stands as an emblem of new Afghanistan, risen from the devastation and the horror of decades of war, risen from the darkness and the brutality of the Taliban. It's a symbolic gesture, giving the country back to the Afghan people by revitalizing sports and encouraging a new sense of national pride. Air Force Staff Sergeant Shannon Ofiara, Kabul, Afghanistan.